What's going on guys, your boy Cameron Game here, back on the mic, and today, we're back with a brand new special video once again, and you're probably wondering, what the fuck are we doing looking at this goddamn title screen once again? Now, I know that's on your minds right now, but let me just tell y'all what's on my mind. Shoutouts to Simple Flips. Shoutouts to all the subs that have subscribed to my channel. We are finally at 200 subscribers as of this video, August 13th, 2018 at the time of this recording. Thank you guys for all the 200 subscribers. I don't have this special, but I did want to acknowledge that we finally have gotten to 200 subscribers and I thank you guys so much. It only took three years. <laughs> we are on our way to a thousand subscribers, which has always been one of my main goals of being a YouTuber to get to a thousand subscribers and even beyond that. Also, thank you for all the feedback that I got on the video. We had 16 comments, 100 views, and probably even more counting. Thank you guys for all the views and I'm really deeply obliged. As for this game though, why are we looking back at it? Well, uh, actually the developer of this game actually did comment in the comment section below, which is what we're about to cover right now. So if you scroll down here, we have Nova Orulo. He says, thank you for playing my game. And then we get a long ass YouTube comment rant discussion about it. Nova Overload says, Look, I'm sorry you hate my game, for it is my very first. I'm also sorry about the bad level design and boss battle. I had a very bad program to work with and a very old laptop to work with as well. So I was very limited on what I could do with what I had. If it makes you feel any better, I made shortcuts to levels. I can tell you how to skip Zervenia Forges if you want. Also, please don't rush through the levels because as you can see, they're not meant to be rushed. If you don't want to play any more of my game, then I understand. Thank you for spending one hour or more on my game. P.S. I'm again sorry for your suffering. Well, you know, the suffering still happened, but <laughs> I do appreciate, uh, you know, uh, that you got, you left this comment, dude. And in fact, I actually uh, replied to him saying, I understand, like I said before, I probably don't have the time to make something like this, so the fact that you made it at all is impressive. However, I will not excuse a little design, but that's something you can get better at. I don't mean to disheart you from making fan games, I'm just saying there's some improvements that can be made as all. Well. So I'm sorry for that on my end, I just have anger issues facts but seriously man good job and keep up the good work also if you want to dm me on how to get that level please do because i might want to come back to this in the future which is actually what we're doing right now thank you for understanding your support i really appreciate it i'm sure when i get better equipment my games will be a lot better also how do i dm you <laughs> i'm sure level skipping will be useful in the future and the r keys are a start if you touch a checkpoint and you press r you'll spawn at the checkpoint nice and that is the background to this very video, guys. Now, I know I was a little bit rant heavy and I was a little bit too uh, negative about this game, but honestly, I wanted to get this game another chance because, you know, I, I you know, I have, I have a moral code that basically tells me to give people the time that they deserve. And that if, you know, the developer actually wants me to spend more time on this game, then I'm going to do my best to oblige to what he wants. And I'm just going to go on ahead and play the game again. I know I'm probably going to scream, rage, do whatever the fuck, but honestly, uh, I know you guys really like it, so uh, it's probably not even a question. <laughs> also, if you guys really do want me to play other Sonic fan games, then put it in the comment section below uh, like what fan game I should play so uh, I can know what else to play that's either good or bad. Either one doesn't matter, but I know that you guys are going to pick bad because... <laughs> You guys love to see me suffer. Anyway, let's get right to the game. The guy actually did DM me on how to skip levels, and basically what you do is, you, you wait on this title screen and you press the number, and the number indicates what level order it is in. So I you press one, you go to Green Hill. I mean, well, Grass Hill, because it's, it's really, really, really original. And so, you know, so on and so forth. So we can go back to Crystal Caverns at fuck level, or we can go back to Electric Factory, and we can go back to Zervania Fortress. But we're gonna uh, actually load back into the game you know what I'm saying just like uh, you know with the saves and everything just to just to you know not skip the levels because I think because uh, I did actually play this in a test recording uh, but I did not actually beat this uh, I actually kind of really hated it afterwards but uh, we'll see if I really think that after this but um, we're gonna try and beat the levels as best as we can and uh, please uh, end my suffering please oh my god it's this game again it's loud as fuck all right so let's go and play game load game Game, and I'm pretty sure we should load back to where we were. I think we should, please. Come on, don't, don't, don't soft walk. Don't soft walk. Yeah, there we go. Don't soft walk. Okay, we got this, boys. We got this. There it is, Zero's Fortress. Oh, you can press space to just skip, skip the cutscene. I forgot about that. Oh God, Pennsylvania <laughs> Fortress once again. This. This level, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, I did say I was gonna give this mod a chance, but I honestly still feel like this level sucks. But, I will still give it the benefit of the doubt. I will try my best. I will try my hardest. I will try to be the best that I ever was. I'm sorry, I've been watching Pokemon. 
Shit. Alright, let's go. Oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. Uh, oh, we already know how to play this. Whoa. Oh, shit. I actually know how to platform. Oh, God. We're back at that section once again. Oh, no. And this game is really loud for me. Alright. Alright. I got a little bit better because uh, I was practicing recording this. Uh, no. You know, the fact that, uh, you know, we don't have lives and we can press R to start restart the checkpoint, it's nice, but it's just it still doesn't mitigate the pain that I'm suffering. It just means that we can respawn faster. All right, let's go. Oh my god, I hate, I don't like this. This is not Mega Man. I'm sorry, but honestly, uh, developer, I don't really like this level design because, you know, when I play a Sonic game, I expect Sonic. This isn't Sonic at all. I honestly feel like this is like Mega Man. Yeah, it's Mega Man because, you know, you instantly die from spikes. And plus, it's just, look at this stiff platforming with this fast blue hedgehog. It, it, it doesn't work. That's just how I feel. I don't know how anybody else feels about, seriously. Oh my god. On stupid platform. Okay, you know what? I'm about to see this. Fuck this level. All right, I gave it four minutes. Next level. Eggman Land. Ah, oh, shit. It's Eggman Land. No, no. Granted, I did like Eggman Land. The Sonic Unleashed. I just know it's just gonna be ten thousand times worse in here. Oh man, this music. Oh, uh, look at that guitar, guys. You, you, I mean, you hear it, man. Yeah, you can't look at a guitar, but you can definitely hear it. You hear it? it, it it's really... Mm. What is that background? It looks like something from Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Whoa, hold up. Oh, yeah, those things kill you in one hit. That's stupid. See, one hit kills are stupid in and itself. I don't understand why that's a thing anyway. Unless it's justifiable. Like a, like a you know, falling down a pit or getting crushed. That's okay. But like a hit, I, I, I hate that in any game, not just Sonic. I mean, it wasn't really stupid up until I played the game Freedom Planet. But now, when I played Freedom Planet, it just reminded, it just told me how trivial freaking touch damage was. So yeah, I don't really like tr touch damage. I mean, that's just a personal nitpick. I don't think a lot of other people have a lot of problems with it, but me, myself, and I do. So yeah, it doesn't matter though. To be honest, I think I'm getting farther than I did. Oh, never mind. This part right here sucks. Like I said, I already played this off screen, but this, this part really does suck. I, I hate this part because of that. That's that's really stupid. I mean, I understand this is a rage game. It, it's shown off as like a Sonic fan game, like a sequel to Forces. It should have just been called Sonic the Rage Game or something. I don't know, but honestly, this doesn't come off as a rage game. It just comes off as a really badly designed level rage game that's not really a rage game it's just badly designed and i'm sorry if it sounds like i'm shitting on this game but honestly this is just how i feel about games in general i mean you guys don't even want to know what i feel about forces which i'm still gonna get to very soon i'm actually starting to write the script now all right let's be careful oh my god oh we, we survived but we have no rings oh what the what what is that how do i just slide off the platform why did that ring just fly away? What? Uh, you know what? You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch of a level. This is stupid. Uh, what? what? What is that homing attack? It's just like it's really easy to slide off these little platforms, man. You know what? This game sucks. Still trying to give it a chance. I'm really trying to give it a chance. You motherfucker. You shithead. You shit head ass. Yeah, there we. Wow, are you serious? I couldn't even say that. I feel like we can get past this though. I feel like we can do that. If we just, if we just take our time enough, we can actually do this. We can actually get past this level. Unfortunately, when you actually skip the levels, you can't actually see like what happens in the story. So that's a loss, I guess. No, you stupid bitch. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can try as much as I can, and I'm probably gonna be able to do it. It's just the fact that it takes so long because you have to memorize this shit, and you have to attempt it so many times. Just, I don't want to spend like 19 minutes on a Sonic level just like last time. Well, that was a boss, but still. What is that? Why do you slide? 
What is this? I wish the developer gave me a fly pack or something. Honestly, I do want to know what happens after this, and if he does, give me like an, a fly hack so I can actually see what's going on in the story, because I do kind of want to see what's going to go on in the story. But honestly, man, I, I, because oh, I might just skip this level if it takes me just way too long. All right. The fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh, I didn't even see that because some shit on my screen. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh oh fucking wow. <laughs> Why is that so damn low right there? Oh my god! Alright, alright, we got this. We jinxed ourselves, boys! We jinxed ourselves! Alright, we finally did it! We finally Oh yeah! There we go. Come on, we gotta get some better levels on for now. Come on. Let's do it. Let's come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? No, we don't. We don't get level better low as I know. We don't get that. We're not good enough for that. We're, we don't have enough subs for that. What the fuck happened? I thought those things. You know, fuck it. Fuck this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. Woo! <laughs> we beat the level, guys. Yes. Yes, I thought I wasn't gonna do it, but we did it. Eggman land completed. <laughs> and my reward is to drink some water. Do you wish to save your game? <laughs> oh no. All right. I don't. I will be able to actually see story stuff. I wonder. We did skip the level. I oh, we do. It. Show up we do. Annoying little pest. Oh. Now. Witness my greatest creation of all time. Oh, <laughs> no. uh, it's the female voice actor of Eggman again. Defeat Egg Silicone, I guess. Defeat Eggman's greatest creation. Whoa! That tornado's carrying a creation. Whoa, what? Oh, we got the freaking Mobius Strip song from Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Pretty spicy music if I fuck. Oh, that's how you beat him. Okay, you just... What? What, what just happened? Why did I fall? Oh, my God. We got the typical fall through the freaking floor after you get hit freaking thing going on here. All right, I see you, game. I love this music. Oh, they remixed it though. Why did they do that? Oh! Oh! We can just do that. That's cool. I love breaking games. Oh, I love this part. God, I should do a let's play of Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. <laughs> I love Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. I think Sonic Riders is actually heavily underrated. I think that should be the main kart racer for Sonic. It's original, and it's really, really fucking fun. I, I grew up with Sonic Riders and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, and god damn, those games are amazing. What the fuck? Okay, you get hit by the hands, you die first. Uh, you die by without taking any... You die if you, even if you have any rings. It's insta-kill. I don't understand that. It's like the sides that hurt you because when you jump on it, it's fine. Hey, wh what? What? This doesn't make any sense. But I feel like I'm going to do this boss though. Yeah, I think that column being a th What the fuck was that? The fuck? What? What? After like half... After you get like half of this health bar away, they, they kill you in one hit. That doesn't... What? But does that mean that you can't jump on them anymore? Oh my god. Why do their hands still have hitboxes? Why do the hands still have collision when you get on the one of the hands? That doesn't make... Oh my god. It makes sense. But honestly, give me a goddamn break. When I get on the hands, can the other collision of the other hand just stop unless like you get to the top and you can do that? Like I, That's fine because I, I like the sequence break. And maybe that's what the development meant by like no rushing the game. But honestly, I, I'm going to rush the game as much as I want because I feel like there's no problem with rushing a game. It just means that you're actually playing with skill. Super skill. That's it. What? Oh. Dun, 
Yes! <laughs> Take that, Eggman! Sorry, uh, please, can you guys hire me? Uh, Sega, can you please hire me to be the voice actor of Sonic? I'll actually make Sonic, how, make Sonic sound how he needs to sound like a damn teenager. Egg Cyclone defeated. Do you wish the game? <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe. Well, I didn't think we could do it, but we actually did it. Ha! Ah, this is kind of nice. It gives me a little bit of a rush. Yeah. No, no, no! This is unfair! This machine was supposed to be unbeatable! Well, too bad! Well, maybe if you controlled it better, it probably wouldn't have gotten destroyed faster. Oh, your manners are as bad as ever! <laughs> hey, that's from Sonic Unleashed. There's plenty of yours to keep hearing about. Same thing with Zeros. And why would I spoil my own plan? You do it all the time, though! What's stopping you from doing it this time? I don't think you should trust Zero. Hmm. And why should I not trust him? He's the one that has gotten me this far at ruling the world, which who would work for me. Phylex? I'm guessing you don't know your history. Well, let me tell you. Ah, uh, here we go. Phylex, the legendary bird that the gods rose through the heavens, had the power to control time itself. And he once a faithful Phylex had gotten too consumed with the power of time that he would turn on the gods. He created a space-time rift, which what had the fuck is a Phylex? Inside a is this just Iblis, but it's a bird? Possible to escape, and would eventually destroy everything. The rift was eventually destroyed by the gods trapping Phylex, taking away his power to control time and putting him to slumber. But it is written by the gods on ancient stone tablets. <laughs> Fucking code numbers. Emeralds, Fucking code numericals. Oh my god. And become his servant. So your plan is to awaken Phylex and destroy the world? No. Destroy the world? Oh no. I want him to help me rule the world. And Zero is going to help me with that. Yeah, I never understood that. Why do villains want to I'm destroy here. the world? Where the fuck would you live? <laughs> That's what you think. So. What the fuck happened to his microphone? Oh my god, can you stop recording your microphone with your desktop microphone from your freaking freaking laptop? Look, I'll do it too. Bro, talk about low budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. Whoa, talk about low budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. It's zero. He's taking all the chaos emeralds. What? what? No. Don't get away. Ah! Tails. <laughs> Psych. Get your butt over to the altar and we'll see Get your now. butt. Roger that, Knuckles. Get right. done, boy. He's gone too far this time. Get done, boy. Judgment Day! Hurry to the master I wrote y'all! I don't think I'm gonna pass this level because I think this is the level that I test played and it's actually just a compilation of past levels, I think. I don't know, but uh, let me see. Oh man, this soundtrack is, is kind of bad. I, 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 well, not bad, but like it's kind of... Oh, alright! Let's go! Time to take down Eggman! If you couldn't uh, tell, I do like Jason Griffin for Sonic. I think he's the best Sonic voice actor ever, in my opinion. Fuck! Wow, I like how you can just stop on the dime on the grind like that. Yahoo! I think this is an instrumental version of uh, the custom characters level. Uh, you know, the one from, uh, what you call that level, the stage. Uh, the custom characters tower, Imperial Tower level from Sonic Forces. Sounds like an instrumental version. Sounds kind of good, actually. Also, it seems like this is just Grass Hill, but just with explosions. Okay, seriously, look at this. Even in the first level, there was some bad level design. I don't know. Yeah, I already said in the first level, in the first, you know, in the what the fuck. So I'm trying to roll, and I can't roll because I don't know. I'm going too fast or something. Sound, please stop. I think I broke the game. Oh, let's fix. You know what? I'm done. Uh, I'm not done with the mod particularly, but I'm done with that level. That level was uh, stupid because I don't really like recycled last level 
levels, I guess, if you think that's a word. I don't like it when video game developers take past levels and just put it in like a doomsday setting and just call it that the last level or something. I honestly don't like that and I'm pretty sure it's a little after this. So let's go to that level. And the level is Utopia of the Lost. I don't know what the fuck happened, but get to the other side of this mystical world. Ooh, looks like something from fucking World of Warcraft. God, what is this level gonna bring us? Oh, oh, it's this level. I actually played this level before. And shitty platforming. Whoa, is this like a mashup of the final boss and no space? I just realized you actually can't see what time it is on the level because the clock is just zero, zero, and then some glitchy ass numbers. Kinda of reminds me of the final boss or something like me. Kinda of a lot of things reminded me of a lot of things today. I mean, I like this song, but I do not like this level. This is so bad, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, developer, but this is just straight up not level. This is just straight up not level this time. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I'm still gonna call this the worst Sonic fan game of all time. I'm giving it a chance, I will admit, but honestly, I cannot excuse this level design. I think it's too much of a chore just to get through these levels, and I feel like there wasn't enough time put into them. When I see Sonic in a fan game title, what is that? What is this, Sonic 4? And let me just say, the physics are off too. I'm sorry, but I just really do not the physics in this game. And it also just makes it so glaring of a problem with the physics of Sonic nowadays. And the control in general, it just doesn't make any goddamn sense. I don't understand why it's so hard to get some control down pat look at that what sonic should feel like he could you can actually control him like mario is doing so much better with the control nowadays in his games and it actually was weird because in the first game his control in super mario Bros. one was stupid but over time like in games like super mario world and even the 3d games you know it just got gradually better come on <laughs> oh my god why is this taking so long i don't even know the time it's driving me crazy i can't do this man no! I've tried so many times. The level design, I have things to do. I just can't. I just can't spend my time on this. I spent an hour and 30 minutes of my life on this game last time. I tried to give the developer the benefit of the doubt, but I just can't get past the control and the level design of this game and the story in these backgrounds. I feel like even though you're on an old PC and I feel like you have limited hardware, I feel like you could have done something better with this. I feel like there should have been more passion into this. I've seen other Sonic projects that are probably even shittier, but they actually have one thing. They have passion. Passion put into their projects. I'm sorry, man, but I feel like, you know, you might have put some passion into this, but I don't feel like it was enough. I can't do this, man. I'm done. I am so done. I'm sorry, guys, but this game is just so atrociously bad as a Sonic fan game because of the fact that we have stuff like Sonic Mania, Sonic Mega Mix, and other great classic Sonic or modern Sonic fan games to the point where it's just, it just makes this so much more glary. I feel like Sonic fan games are now put on like a higher pedestal than what they should be. I mean, it's, you know, the least that you can do is just make it have a good control style. I, that's all I want. That's all I want. Good level design, man. Man, I'm sorry Nova Overload, but I'm gonna have to give my honest to God's thoughts about this game once and for all. I've already spent like almost nearly two hours on this game in total, and I'm actually done with this game unless you guys want me to do a live stream and request it in the comments, but here's my final thoughts. What's going on guys, your boy KamiCam here back on the mic and today you might be wondering what the fuck happened to my final thoughts about Sonic Judgment. Well I'm still going to be doing that, in fact that's what I'm going to be doing right now, but the thing is is that I felt like in the video recording I felt like I was being too cynical and I was going on too many tangents and I was being too redundant. So I'm going to doing this little mini review here and now just to give you guys my final thoughts about this game and it does help that I've actually edited the entire said video that you're watching right now. So I have a little bit more to uh, actually, you know, base my thoughts upon so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little mini review first and foremost I'm not even a lie Sonic Judgment is really freaking bad I do not like this game at all Nova Overlord I'm just gonna have to say right now you could have done a lot better of a job at this fan game I felt like even though you had a bad laptop and you had bad equipment you could have done at least a little bit better you could have done a lot better than this I'm just gonna say that right now but you know I know I understand that this is your first fan game but at the same time, I feel like you didn't really look or play the levels yourself. I do know for a hardcore Sonic fan like me, I know this isn't really good level design. And I feel like I know there's so much more better than this. And Nova Overlord did actually tell me that he is making another fan game. 
uh, that will probably be better than this. But I hope it's really, like, it's so much better than this in terms of, like, the level design. And, you know, I'm saying, I like the story concept. It's like, you know, it's not bad, you know. It's, it's you know, a typical Sonic fan fiction, which isn't always bad. So it's, it's, you know, I felt like it had promise but the gameplay and the level design itself and the presentation i just did not grasp it you know what i'm saying like i, I was playing grass hill it was an okay level but the bombless pits were just daunting and you know it just got worse after that and then zervania fortress with those tight ass platforms when the physics and the control was just abysmal i'm sorry man but sonic judgment I'd have to give it my final thoughts and my final rating of a 2 out of 10. I'm sorry, but this game is just not enjoyable at all to play. In fact, right now, I'm probably going to delete the game off my computer after this because I do not. I am very disappointed in this uh, fan game right here. Uh, Nova Overload, uh, keep in touch with me if you're watching this. I know you are because <laughs> you're what you were asking about this like a thousand times. But uh, keep in touch with me, you know, about the next Sonic fan game that you make because I hope that you, you know, take some cues from this video right here and actually put, apply it to your game so you can make better global design and, you know, uh, you know, touch up on the physics. Use a different engine, maybe. I don't know. Use a different engine. Um, get a better, get better equipment. If I were you, Nova Overload, I wouldn't be satisfied with this product and I don't think you should either. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the final thoughts of my this video. This is the last Sonic uh, Judgment video I'm ever going to make. Uh, like I said, I might do the stream, but like 10 times out of 10, I'm probably not going to do the uh, stream on anyway. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was an abysmal time to make. I'm sorry for the late upload, and I'm sorry that, you know, everything was going really bad. But anyway, I really want to thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I thank you guys so much for that. We are on our road to 1K, and I cannot appreciate you guys enough for everything that you have, guys. You guys have done with all the likes and the... And the uh, the comments and everything i love it anyways guys thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video like this video if you guys like this video dislike this video if you guys like this song want to see more and not subscribe to the channel help us get to 1k anyways guys thank you guys for watching have a good night day when you're watching this and as always i shall i'll see y'all later